Greetings fellow Gorehounds and welcome back to a Blood Splattered Vlog. I'm the Horror Guru. And I'm Count Dracula. And today we're going to talk about Dogs Don't Wear Pants, which is a Shudder exclusive Finnish horror film. Not really horror, more like psychological thriller really. Um, I'm not sure what else to call it because it's... It's, it's definitely a thriller. Yeah, it's like not like a full-on horror movie and it's really psychological. So psychological thriller is probably appropriate here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a really edgy drama. You know, like, because th th it's, it's essentially about a guy who is diving into the world of BDSM and taking it a little too far. Yeah. Um, or a lot too far at, at times. Um, and... Um, uh, and, uh, I, I gotta say, I, I enjoyed this movie thoroughly. <laughs> like, it is a really, really good movie that keeps you guessing the entire way, which way it's going to go. It's also the kind of movie that like, is like squicking you out like <laughs> all it, the time. And the funny thing is, is that <laughs> this is actually the definition of a torture porn movie. Yeah. I, that's a good way to put it. You know, which is funny to say because it is totally, it's like erotic as all fuck and there's a lot of torture in it. Yeah. This kind of is. This kind of yeah. like the raw yeah. definition. Yeah. It's the raw definition. <laughs> and with that said, the thing that's really weird about it mm -hmm. is that in the annals of BDSM culture, despite the fact that we're it's got this almost secretary-like vibe to it. Yeah, yeah. Like, the secretary is the movie I kept thinking of the most, whereas the secretary is kind of like the idealized BDSM. It's kind of like the fantasy. It, like, it's itself, the sweet one. It, yeah. yeah, it itself kind of represents the fantasy of BDSM, mm -hmm. for better or worse. Whereas this movie is kind of like... It's like the harsh reality of it combined with what happens if you take it too far. Yeah, well, it's... <laughs> but, but, like, it's also part of the journey. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a much... <laughs> darker reason for a person to be there. And interestingly enough, of all the BDSM movies I've seen, this probably has the most realistic depiction of it. Oh yeah, um, yeah, until you actually get to like the actual well, like the actual torture. Yeah. The depiction of the BDSM scene is actually pretty spot on. That's the thing. That's the thing. Like in order to show that he's taking it too far, they first must had they first had to show us how it's supposed to go. Yeah. You know, so that when he does take it too far, we know all the red flags to look for and stuff. Yeah. You know, like he's no longer using safety words. He's no longer like, he's no longer looking for like the, um, uh, the, the same kind of, um, what do you call it? Mutual agreement or assurance. Yeah. 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 He, he, as the sub is taking it farther than he has agreed with the Dom. You know, well, and he, even there's even points where he's bringing someone else into it and not really respecting their boundaries. Correct. Like, yeah. You know, like, 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 it, it, and, and, and what's cool about it is like you get like the first half, which is him entering that world and they're showing you how that world kind of works, mainly with just the one Dom. Yeah. But, like it's pretty accurate. It's pretty spot on. And like, like, like we see like the proper safety measures. We see the mutual agreement, mutual respect. So that when you get to the second half and he is not respecting that and he is taking it too far and he is demanding more than the Dom is, you know, comfortable with, um, we know that he's gone over the edge. Like, yeah. we know that it is wrong. Um, and so in that way, this movie kind of even beats out the secretary because even the secretary is like a romanticized version. Yeah, yeah. Well, points. like I said, this, the secretary, <laughs> secretary is really sweet. This yeah. one's a little... Because that one at bit. the end of the day is a romance. Yeah. <laughs> that one at the end of the day is a romance. This one is... Actually, I don't want to give it away. Yeah, yeah. We'll get into that. We'll get into that into the spoilers. Um, because when we get to the spoilers, there's there's a whole lot more to it than just him. Like, one day I'm going to go into BDSM. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a little, yeah, bit yeah, more, yeah. little bit more involved than that. Right. Well, I think, I, think, I think the easiest uh, thing that we could talk about before we go to spoilers is that in the beginning of the movie, his wife drowns. <laughs> Yeah, that's um, what kind of kicks off everything. Yeah, and he almost drowns rescuing her, mm -hmm. but he fails to do so. And he becomes fixated and obsessed with his uh, uh, with choking and asphyxiation. Yeah, in particular, that seems to be his main kink yeah. when he gets into it. Yeah. Um, for and reasons that are psychologically understandable, it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's him facing a trauma on top of a lot of other things. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, because doing that brings him closer, allows him to be in the memory of his wife. Yeah. And he's basically taking the indirect suicide route. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. 
Um, and uh, the movie's really fucking good. Mm. Like, it's really well acted. Yeah. Um, the, Reminded me a lot of Knife and Heart, actually, Knife in terms of its I can quality. See that. I can know? totally see that, yeah. Absolutely. Um, and it, it, even though, like, I'm definitely qualifying it as more of a thriller, there's a lot of parts where you find yourself going like, ooh, Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> absolutely. Um, whoa. Like, right up until the very end, you don't know what kind of movie this is going to actually turn yeah. out to be. Yeah. Like, you could argue that once you get into the last half, it becomes more of a horror movie. <laughs> um, but yeah. it, there's quite a journey to get there. So it's like, if it's a third of a horror movie and two thirds of a thriller, what do we call it? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think what we should do when we get to the spoilers is we should stage it. We'll do a very quick spoiler where we'll just tell you whether or not the movie has... We'll give you an idea how the movie ends. Yeah, sure. We could do that. And, but Because and, if you're not... Because if you're like, ooh, this looks like a movie I might want to watch, but I might need some assurances or understanding of where it goes. Mm -hmm. We'll tell you that, and then we'll get into the details after that. That makes sense. Um, so with that said, um, it is a Shudder exclusive, so if you want to watch it here in the North America, then Shudder is where you want to be. Mm -hmm. um, I highly recommend Shudder. It is a great platform. We are not sponsored by it. I am just a big yeah. fan. Yeah, but if you don't have Shudder, you can also rent it through the Amazon Prime. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, like a lot of Shudder movies, they're available uh, for rent on other platforms, so go for it. They, they tend to buy other movies more than make their own movies, mm -hmm. um, more often than not. Um, so, uh, I guess with that said, we will move on to the first portion of the spoilers. All right. The first portion of the spoilers is that this is a journey of self-discovery. Mm -hmm. Main character makes it. Yeah. He makes it. Yeah. He makes it. He, he, he makes it through makes to the other end. end. Yeah. He gets through the other side of the dark tunnel. Um, that being said, he does go to some really dark places. Oh yeah. To get yeah. there. And... We have everything from from mild stuff like peeing on each other. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which yeah, is yeah. the mild that's stuff. The, that's that. Yeah, that's the mild <laughs> part of some shit that happens. Like, that's the mild stuff to um, like flat out torture and like I don't I don't know if I want to say the final final thing that starts happening at the end, but like. Let's yeah, just say yeah, there, yeah. Are, the there are parts Dom, removed. Yeah. <laughs> the Dom has a sadistic streak. Yes. <laughs> has a big sadistic streak that she is struggling with. Um, and But by the end of the movie, the equilibrium is found and it is, it is a happy ending. And it is ultimately very, despite everything that has happened, it is very sympathetic understanding and no this is fuck it this is obviously a bondage movie made by someone in that scene oh yeah that much i got right yeah. away like the, the little detail of having like the ball in the hand so that exactly like when when the choking goes a little too far and the ball drops you know to just immediately let go because you can't have a safe word Right, um, right, right. You can't have a safe word if your mouth is covered. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's hard to have a safe word if you're covering the mouth or doing anything like that. So the ball drops. Okay, shit, that's too far. Um, little details like that tell me that, like, no, this is someone who's been involved in that world. And attention to detail was paid. Yeah. Um, if it wasn't directly made by someone who was involved, they definitely had good consultants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, very much so. And one of the things I also appreciated is it it does something that a lot of these uh, type of movies don't tend to do, which is it gets into how badly this is actually freaking the, the dominatrix out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's, there's like a certain point in which the dom is being asked to go farther than she's comfortable with. Um, and things go wrong and like, she's starting to be so psychologically traumatized by what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but with all that said, ultimately is a very, this movie's actually very, very, like I said, it's very sympathetic of the bondage scene because it is, it's not seen as bad. Well, yeah. The thing about the movie is that the bondage is not the bad guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not that it's not the evil thing. It's not like, oh, this person was corrupted because, oh, no, uh, they had a bad trauma. And so now the bondage scene has corrupted them and now they're killing people. It's not like that. No, no, no not all. If anything, the bondage actually helps him work through his issues. Yeah. Uh, until the end of the movie. 
Um, the problem is, is that he takes things too far personally. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Until the very end when he starts to realize what it is he's he's really after. Yeah. It's almost like he has to take it too far to know what too far is. At one, like, yeah. And then like yeah. scale it back and be like, okay, I can be myself now. And there's a huge contrast between the way he is at the, at the beginning of the movie when he's completely like zoned out half the time. Yeah uncomfortable doing everything he's doing in his life from being there for his daughter to being a surgeon because he's a surgeon. Yeah. Um, towards the end of the movie when he's like dancing in a bondage outfit at a club smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's that, it's that, it's that, oh, it's that big thing which is to deal with his trauma what he has done is he has absolutely clamped down all his emotions so he can have absolute fucking yeah. control. The problem is is that's destroying him his daughter and yeah. every his career and his friend at work him. is concerned. Yeah, yeah, his yeah. friend at work is like, dude, what the fuck? And you his know? friend's putting his neck out all the time for him. Like, like <laughs> Yeah, because you get the feeling that like this guy was not, this guy is not like a, a pathetic slouch. No. Like he's like this he's a great surgeon, but he's fucking up left and right. Mm -hmm. You know? M mostly with his personal stuff. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I um, mean, his poor daughter just kind of wants her dad to like be there. <laughs> yeah, just be present. But he's having this problem where he's there, but he's not even there. There, like he's yeah. Well, like yeah, that that's a really cool thing that happened. Which is the reason the dad discovers the bondage scene is because the daughter insists on getting a tongue piercing, mm -hmm. and you know, bondage and and piercing. They do kind of go together, you know, like there's there's definitely a relationship. The, yeah, there. it's kind of like tattoos, too. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, little yeah. Interlocking world of things that, yeah. that are separate, but they also come together. Yeah. And it becomes very obvious that the reason that she was wanted to get the tongue piercing was because, well, maybe I'll get emotional reaction out of my dad if I do this. <laughs> but the problem is, is she kind of goes to the piercing shop with her dad and then without intending to kind of leaves him there, <laughs> you know, <laughs> he kind of ends up uncovering uh, a bondage room uh, yeah. in the, in the same building that the, that the piercings are happening, <clears throat> which is kind of what leads him into that world. And that leads him to come. Once he enters the bondage world, he starts getting so obsessed with that, that he like is now abandoning everyone on the other end. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's get into the, uh, the, the, the rest of the spoilers. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to get into the spoiler spoilers. So, Second set of spoilers. And this is where we're going to talk about some of the gnarly shit that happens. Whoa. Oh, oh man. Okay. So, prob bar none, the gnarliest scene. Like, this movie is well, well, well structured and well paced. Mm -hmm. Like, we almost get into, like, that Grand Gunyal level of fucking Ooh. shit. Where, basically, he has basically broken into the Dom's house. After stalking her. After stalking her for about, like... And, like, he tried to get someone else. Like, he tried to, like, date, just date a normal person and, like, convince them to Dom him. Yeah. But it's, like, he's, like, it, it just didn't work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not working. That's not how that girl So he's wired. been stalking the Dom who doesn't want anything to do with him because... He ended up taking it so far during one of their sessions that he broke the uh, the safety ball. So she didn't know that it was. Yeah, broken. he breaks the safety ball on purpose so that she won't stop. Yeah. And so, but he so she ends up accidentally choking him way too far to the point where he actually ends up having to get like a neck brace for yeah. his neck. Um, and uh, she has to call an ambulance and all that, and it freaks her out because there's a point where she has to do CPR on him to make sure he's not dead. So she wants nothing to do with him at this point. So he starts stalking her um, because he wants her to take it further than that. Um, and then it culminates in him, like, basically breaking into her house. Not really breaking into her house. He, like... He, not, like yeah, he all, all but just. All but just. He basically asks her, um, if we do this, you'll never have to see me again, essentially, and whatever. And so she takes him to the room, and basically she decides, all right, you want it this far? Fine. I'll take it as far as fucking possible and we'll see if you still want it by the end of it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. To the point where she's like pulling teeth out of his fucking oh head. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, whoa. Actually, my favorite part of that whole scene is she starts pulling the fucking tooth and then gets interrupted by the phone and then has to answer the phone and go blah, 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 blah. You see that? Okay, click. 
All right, back to it. Yeah. There's also someone like like in the hallway, and she had to like go close the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. She keeps getting interrupted after trying to pull his tooth, and so she has to keep coming. Back. Oh, dude, that was amazing. That was an amazing movie moment where I'm just like, oh, oh man, you just. You just no bravo you made this the most uncomfortable the well most it's kind of it's kind of like watch it's kind of like in like the last like the last hurrah before you get to the uh, uh the denouement before yeah. you get to the um the the him dancing at the club happy um it, it all of a sudden turns into audition like <laughs> yeah 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 for a brief <laughs> minute it turns into audition and you're convinced it's gonna stay there mm -hmm. you're convinced it's gonna fucking stay there um but then the guy, after one tooth is pulled out, he figures out, wait a minute. I, uh, I gotta go rethink my life. I gotta re go rethink my life. Um, and he walks out. And I, I almost feel real bad because she had, like, she came out, like, she left the room after he did that. And he walks out, like, kind of going to rethink his life. And she, like, comes out of the, of the bedroom with his wife's dress, yeah, with the with the dress that he had gotten yeah. for her, yeah, yeah, and and and, and there was the, the, there's almost like a sadness that she has where it's like, well, yeah, yeah, because she's like, oh shit, what have I done? I I took it way too far, and then she goes right, to the it's window. Time be, it's time for me to be caring, Dom. But by the time she gets the outfit outfit on, he's gone. He's left, and she's just like. Motherfucking stupid dog. You're like, what the fuck? She keeps <laughs> calling him a dog. Yeah, yeah. Dogs don't you know. wear pants. Take your pants off is where the title of the movie comes from. Yeah. Um, and uh, so she refers to him as dog, makes him walk on all fours, puts a collar on him and all that stuff. Um, I just love that scene where it's her and her actual dog looking out the window as he walks off. Stupid fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, not you. you know. um, but then, the, the, then like, the actual, like... Um, epilogue of the movie is him finally going into uh, the bondage club that he couldn't get into earlier because he wasn't dressed right. Yeah. Um, in like a bondage outfit, um, finding some people and dancing with them uh, and then her walking in and seeing him and then like exchanging these smiles. And that's like the end of yeah, the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. basically the idea and, and, and basically the idea is is that he's finally come out the other end. Um, we also see right before that him Actually being there for his daughter and like taking her to school and all that stuff and then being there with his work buddies and then after work going to the bondage. Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, like he's, he's found he's the balance. He's now yeah. the master of the two worlds of his home life and uh, yeah. his sex life. And he is now over, not necessarily over, but more at peace with his wife's death. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of got like a happy ending in the end. Um, but then you have to go through some shit to get there. Yes. <laughs> um, but what I kind of like is that Unlike Secretary, this isn't lo love story. This is about this guy's conflict. Um, and, and the poor Dom is just kind of caught in the center of it. But she gets, like, she kind of comes out the other end, too. Like, she got something out of it as well. So, I yeah. like that. Um, yeah, it's a really good movie. It's a really awesome movie. Um, it's on Shudder. It's in Finnish. So, uh, you might want to get them subtitles out. Get them out. subtitles working. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, this movie's great. Um... I don't know what more to say than that. Uh, if you've seen the movie, then feel free to comment below and let us know what you think. And uh, if you yourself are a uh, practitioner of the BDSM, let us know below what you thought as a, uh, as a, as a fan of BDSM, uh, what you thought of this movie, because I'm curious to know. And uh, with that said, um, where can they find you, Count Jackula? Well, you can find me on twitch.tv slash count underscore jacula most days at 6 p.m pacific standard time but definitely every thursday and every sunday absolutely and you can also follow me on twitter which is also count underscore jacula if you want to be notified when i go live absolutely um, and y'all know me, I'm the Horror Guru. You can find me at the Horror Guru on Twitter, on Twitch, on uh, Facebook. Just look up the Horror Guru or Blood Splattered Cinema and I'll be there. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, ring that notification bell so you're notified of my videos immediately upon their upload. And if you would like to help out our work um, more directly, then be sure to check out our Patreon pages. And remember, if you decide to go the Patreon route, even a dollar a month can go a long way. And, uh... With that all said, my fellow Gorehounds, I have one more vlog I want to record before we're done with this sitting uh, recording session. So uh, we're going to go do that. And uh, peace out. Don't.
fucking choke yourself to death. Jesus. No, no. no. Make sure you have safety measures. Make sure you have safe words. Make sure you have all that. Don't do what this guy did. Yeah. No, no. It's, it's a bad idea. 